mentioned that in the last half hour, too. But what do you say to this guy, Brian, who says that the fire siren is outdated and unneeded? Here is uh, Lucas in Long Neck. Hello, Lucas. Hey, how you doing there, Dan? First time caller, long time listener. Thank you. First time, long time. Hello. And I'm calling in on the roll call. I missed the... I missed the uh, Star Spangled Banner. I'm sorry about that, sir. No problem, Lucas. I am a veteran, but I have been a volunteer fireman, and I do hail from the great town of Havertown, Pennsylvania, Mm -hmm. where they have seven volunteer fire companies. But you have to understand, up there, there's a lot of woods, there's a lot of hills, and there's a lot of dumbass kids out there having campfires and keggers. <laughs> okay. You know what a kegger is, you know. Drink yes, a it's, a, it's a beer party with beer and a keg. I get it. Um, yeah, but you have to watch out for that stuff. And apparently, you know, down here in lower, slower, dumbass Delaware, it seems like the kids are having children. So, therefore, ergo, you have to think about a little bit of the intelligent quotient in the high schools and the education system about what the hell is going on. I mean, to actually have... Do you think um, our friend here, Lucas, is having his own kegger this morning? She's about to turn 87. I'm asking you. I've turned off my mic to him, but I'm asking you if it sounds like he's been drinking. And... There was a new little fire company, fire trucks just running down the road, not doing nothing, not running their lights, just running their truck. You know what I mean? Lucas, uh, what is your comment on the siren uh, at the firehouse? Well, I can't barely hear it because I'm so far back from in the boondocks here. But all I know is co- about... Fifteen years ago, when I moved down here, a uh, house blew up, and uh, they had to bring in the water tanker because they don't have any fire hydrants here in the Long Neck Parks. So anytime you hear that siren, and anytime you see them emergency vehicles, and I've noticed this, these people will not pull off to the right, to the shoulder, and they'll just block the emergency vehicles, and they'll act like total dumbass morons and just block the emergency. See, I think his lips are loose, and he's saying those things because I he really sounds like he's been drinking. So far is the environment you're raised in. Now, I was raised in Philadelphia, where we use turn signals, where we pull to the side of the road when there's an emergency vehicle, and we do what we have to do. You say they do it better in Pennsylvania than down here, is what you're saying? Brother, if I could tell you my true response, you would respect me, but yeah. And I'm about to flip my house and move back to Pennsylvania because I cannot stay in lower, slower Delaware anymore. Later. You're getting a round of applause for that one here in the studio. Oh, really? You can't even get a decent cheesesteak down here unless you make it yourself and you chip your own long, or unless you chip your own London broil cheesesteak. And then again, you have to buy it semi frozen just to cut it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you still there? No, I'm still here. I'm going to be here for a little while. Why did you why did you move here? That was an unfortunate cer- uh, certain uh, circumstance because my father broke his tibia and he got in his head to move down here next to my sister. Because of a broken daughter. tibia? Yeah, because of broken tibia. His big old thigh bone. I could have had us a nice the th- house. The thigh bone the tibia is not the thigh bone. The the thigh bone is the femur. Oh, the femur, yeah. Are you now what are you talking about? The femur or the tibia? No, the femur. I'm sorry. 
I had a little bit of bourbon. Ah, uh, nailed that one. A little bit of bourbon. Yeah, a little bit of bourbon. Do you often uh, wake up first thing in the morning and have bourbon? No, 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 no. Why did you wait, wake up this morning and have bourbon? No, I haven't been to sleep yet. I see. This is leftover from last night? No, this is not leftover from last night. Well, you I, haven't I, had I, bourbon this morning, you claim, which I don't believe you. Uh, and it's leftover from last night, but you haven't been to bed, but it's not leftover from last night. I'm, when did you last have bourbon? About 10 o'clock last night. I see. All right. Yeah. I monitor my drinking pretty well, you know. You monitor it? It sounds like you, like you monitor your diabetes, like someone would monitor their diabetes. You just monitor your drinking. I stopped drinking beer, and I started drinking bourbon and tea, and I lost 40 damn pounds. Hey, Butch, you're on with Lucas from Long Neck. Okay. Hey, look, uh, Lucas. Why don't you go ahead and try to do a quick sale and get back north as quick as you can? Because uh, I've been born and raised around here. Of course, I moved away too, but uh, I can't think of any other beautiful place I'd rather be than right here, right now. So if you don't like it here, head on back north. Well, I'll tell you one thing, there, man. Um, I miss my mountains. I miss my hills. And I miss the skinny comments up there that can actually walk up a set of stairs wheezing. Let me tell you about the trolls. Later. Well, let let me tell you. Oh, he hung up. hung up. Yeah, I know he hung up, but he can still hear me. My grandfather came from South Philly and moved down here years ago. Of course, he'd be almost 100 years old now, though. But, um, you know, I know all about uh, Pennsylvania and all these other states, especially uh, Philly. If you don't like it here and you can't get the cheese steak you like and you can't do the things that you like to do, load yourself back up, do a quick sale, pay your whoever it is that you got to help leak from, rent it from, whatever, and get the heck back north so that we can continue to enjoy good living down here. You want to take up a collection? We could get a moving van over there in about a day. I'm going to donate 50 cents right now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dan.